Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with a first impression of the moon spell. Moon spell parallel. I am here with a first impression today and it is the moon spell from Lunar Beauty and I talked about this in my 10 things I want if 10 things I have haven't bought because I will leave it up here. I talked about 10 things that I would have bought if I wasn't on the low buy and I mentioned this but as you see I bought it. So this is the first eyeshadows I will try from Lunar Beauty and this is like the most amazing packaging ever. Why I didn't want to buy this was because I was a little bit disappointed when I saw the inside of this. But then I started to look at <laughs> some videos on it and I was like, I want that. So, the Moonspell palette. First of all, love the packaging. It looks like a book and you take this out and this is the actual palette. And this feels really, really, it's a pretty heavy palette and I like that. And like, this is... I love it. I couldn't ask for any more like what's up with my language today? I couldn't ask for anything more due to the package because this is amazing and I also love the back side. I really hope that you can see. There you can see. So yeah, these this is cruelty free and this contains 15 shadows and it has a big mirror and I love that as you may know so the palette looks like this and my biggest issue with this one was that I didn't think it was enough dark shades and I still don't think that but I'm going to try to do something fun with this today and one of my shades came smashed broken crashed and it was this Prue. I just pressed it in again and it swatches good. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to talk about more about the palette because I normally don't do that. But one thing I can mention, I like the layout of this because I am one of these persons. I like when it is like sex sections in the palette. So, down here it's mostly green and then here in the middle it's like a neutral more and up here it's purple and I really love that because I think it's pleasing to see and also if I have a hard time to come up with what I want to do for makeup I can just okay I take that row and it's easy like that. So yeah today I don't know I haven't swatched any other shades except for Prue. Um, but I don't know, I'm pretty excited about this one. So I think I will do something green, greenish, I'm not sure. So I will zoom you in and then we get started with the first impression of the Lunar Beauty Moonspell palette. Okay, so I think I will start with one of the little bit more boring shades. Okay, so I think I will start with... Winifred, 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 and no, I do not like witches, and I do not like witches. I haven't watched like any witch things like Charmed or anything. It was on TV when I was younger, but it was like nothing for me. Uh, I watched Sabrina. Sabrina Teenage Witch? Was she even called that in English? That I watched. <laughs> Nothing more than that. And I have never like, like charmed. Did I say that? I think I did. Never watched it and nothing like else. The only more like two things I have seen with witches is one episode or one season of American Horror Story and 
Is this one season in True Blood as well? But like nothing more than that. That's like my witch thing. So if I don't know the names, I don't know. But this shade, nothing to complain about. It was easy to blend. I am not like completely sure what I want to do, but I think I'm going to take Marnie this one and put it in my crease as well with a smaller brush I want to like try to do something pretty dark just because that was one of the reasons why I didn't want this palette in the beginning because when I first saw the outside of this I was like that has to be amazing, but I was like expecting maybe a black or just some darker colors, but after like seeing some videos on it, I was like, okay, maybe I can make it work. And I think that I can make it work because this doesn't look all bad. And I don't know if I want to try one of the shimmers. I actually don't think I want to. Maybe put like an inner corner highlight. Okay, and it's now that I don't know what I want to do. And I don't want to swatch because I feel someone sometimes when you swatch you like get... You maybe think that a shade is going to be a certain way, so... I just want it to be like first impression, first impression, and swatching is not my typical thing. But I think I will take Nancy and then Bonnie on my lid. So I will take Nancy out here. And this feels a little bit more like blue than green. So we will see. It picks up good on the brush. Maybe not as dark that I expected, and maybe it is a little bit like too blue. But I think we can live with this. I think I'm going to take Marnie, the one that I had in my crease, and go over here just to blend them a little bit better together. Maybe that didn't work at all, so... I think that Lunar Beauty, they are good at making packages. Like the... Okay, the first palette wasn't that fun. Uh, Life's a drag, but... Is it called Strawberry Dream? I like that outside. It's nothing for me though, but I like the look of that palette. And okay, it's not laying that good out here, but I I think it is my eye that is fucking with me. So don't mind this if you even can see it. It doesn't feel like I have anything to complain about with this shadow either. And okay, for the last shade on my lid, I will take Bonnie. And I am hoping that this is going to be pretty bright at least. It looks good on the brush. I like that I am like, oh, I am afraid that this is not going to be dark that I want it to be with this palette and then I'm like I hope this will be bright okay, I think I have to let the cat out else I can vent a little bit okay I like this Bonnie shade I hope that you can see what I am doing right now okay so I will do the same on the other eye take away the fallouts but it's not that much fallouts Fix my base and my brows and then I will be back and 
we do something to the under eyes and maybe the inner corner and now we're going to let Elsa out of here because she's going to get annoyed so I will fix the other eye my base one brows and then I will come back okay I forgot one thing that I wanted to do I want to take this Kiki and I am thinking about Kiki from I don't know the English name for it I can write it here and I want to take this to try to deepen down my outer corner I don't know if this is going to work but yes it's going to work and it's working just to like take it together with the darker I have in my crease and I just wanted to do this because I wanted to see if possible and we're going to see if I can do it on this side because it feels really dry on the eyelid and it like doesn't want to stick but I am pretty sure that is my eye that is the problem because on this eye it looks so much better than on this one so yeah okay now I will fix my base and my brows and then we'll come back so, okay, I have changed my mind a little bit. I'm going to take a purple on my lower lash. So I'm going to take page, that one. Maybe it's not purple, maybe it's pink, I don't know. And take it on my lower lash. So we will see how this looks. Hopefully I don't fuck this up. Okay, so something like this I feel is good. But I feel I want to like deepen down so I take Kiki. I want to say Kiki in Swedish and just take it out here to like try to connect. So something like that and for my inner corner I want to go in with through this one and put it in my inner corner and I don't know if I want to spray this and you can't see what I'm doing I don't even know if you can see this but I like it it feels though maybe it's more like a cup, cup a topper shade because it feels like it have almost like a weight, weight, white base or something. This I am sure it's going to look amazing over black shadow. Okay, so I feel that I am satisfied like this. So I'm going to put on something in my wash line. I think I will take Piggy Bank from Colourpop to match the lower lash or will I take green? No, I don't think so. So I think I will take Piggy Bang from Colourpop, put on mascara and a lipstick and then I will come back and tell you what my first impression of Moon Spell is. So I am back. For my waterline I took Piggy Bank. No, Boots. Piggy Bank, I think it's the purple one. I took Boots from Colourpop. And for my lips, I took Anastasia Beverly Hills Rose Wood that is a matte lip. And yeah, this is the finished look. I like this palette and I could do something a little bit darker, even though it's not like super dark shades in this palette. So I have used Prue, Page, Winifred. Kiki, Nancy, Marnie, and Bonnie. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shades. And I have nothing to complain about with any of the shades. I think though Prue is more like a topper and I think it will look awesome on top of a black shadow or a really, really dark shadow. I think it would look so, so cool. But yeah, I am pleased with all the colors. It's going to be fun 
to test some of the other like darker shimmers so maybe like Mary and Samantha and maybe Fiona so yeah I am happy with this palette and I still can't get over this beautiful package and it feels really really sturdy the magnet is really good the mirror is really good it is just like I love this and also it's like little marks I don't think you can see it so it is like pages in here like it looks like a book I love it so much and I also love this I don't usually keep this but I'm going to with this one I love the concept I love that it looks like a book and I guess if you love witches and like charmed and all well, the other tv shows that i don't know where these witches are from i think you will love this concept so i am really pleased with this palette i am happy that i changed my mind and actually bought it so yeah i think i will end this now i really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope i'll see you in the next one bye